Hi there, this is Russell Lowe and uh, this is the first part of a two-part tutorial on how to create a spider chart. The first thing I'm going to do is bring in a reference image. So I'm just dragging and dropping this in from a folder that I have, an image that I'd saved in a folder. Uh, I can use the selection tool to drag it around. I can use the Alt and Middle mouse button to roll in and when I look at it I can see uh, in the background there is a kind of a, a polar grid with uh, a series of dotted lines, some straight lines uh, in grey which this chart's built over. So let's focus on that. Step one is to find a polygon that will match this. So if we go into the rectangle tool uh, and under that there's a polygon tool. I'll click on that and then just click somewhere on my artboard. I've got a radius uh, set up of 250 pixels. My artboard is a thousand pixels wide so that'll give me a, a 500 pixel wide um, polygon and it's got seven sides which matches the reference image. Go OK and there we have it. Uh, hit the selection tool or hit V and I can click and move it around or I can hold Alt down and click and drag and it creates a copy of it. If I hit Control D it creates another copy the same distance apart. So that's a good way to replicate objects. Uh, in the Shapes uh, dialog up the top here, Shape Properties, I can click that and I'll change this one to 150, hit Enter and I'll select this one and in Shape change it to 50 and hit enter and we've got three of them drag a selection left click and drag a selection around all of them go into the align window and align it to the center of the artboard now currently you can see that the stroke which is the line around the outside is in black uh, there's no fill so in the stroke it looks like it's actually changed them i'm going to uh, drag a selection around everything and go Control G to group them together. I'll minimize this and then go into the stroke, uh, into the appearance part of it in the stroke, and then I'll click this uh, arrow and select say 0.5, and that makes them all 0.5 of a millimeter. That makes them all the same, and then I'll click stroke and go and click dashed line and now I've got a dashed line which is like the precedent image and then I'll click on my color and I'll select uh, this gray which is about a 40% gray and uh, click anywhere on here on the artboard and you can see now I've got uh, dashed gray lines matching that so I need to do these radial lines now so I'm going to use the line tool and I'll click on the line tool and I'll find the center and I've got my smart guides turned on so view smart guides you'll have them on most of the time. Uh, go cancel to that. So I'll find the center, click and drag and find that anchor point out there. I'll start from the outside so I don't start moving this line around. Click and drag and snap it and drag and snap and do that for the rest of them and then with the selection tool selected hold down shift select all of them and control G to group them and now I'll just adjust the stroke to remove the dashed line and uh, I'll actually reduce the size of this, uh, the stroke to 0.35 and you can see that it matches the background here. Right, uh, final step for this part is to go into my layers window, call this background, hit enter, uh, lock that layer so I can draw over the top of it and create a new layer, call this one uh, Colored Lines. 
hit enter and I'm ready to do my colored lines.